everyone, my name is Julia and I'm here today to do a reading for Virgo. This is your October 2021 reading and it's going to be a chakra reading. This reading may not resonate for everybody. If your sun, moon or rising sign is in Virgo, then it's possible you might find something here that does resonate for you. Otherwise, you could have a look at one of my other readings. Um, so yeah, I put out um, a few days ago a little introduction video to this reading because I wasn't sure whether everybody would know exactly what chakras were and how they kind of manifest in our lives. So if you're not entirely sure, I would suggest having a quick little look at that video. And otherwise, um, I hope that we're on the same page here and um, I can get on with this reading. So thank you so much to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much to everybody who's liked and shared and commented on my videos. I've had some lovely um, encouraging emails recently, which really has been nice. Um, because I sit here and I'm obviously not entirely sure how people perceive my readings and how people feel about them. So it's lovely to get some feedback. So I'm using three new little decks of cards here. One is the Chakra Love cards. I also have some Chakra Insight oracle cards and I'm going to use the psychic tarot deck which has chakras um, within it. So for you Virgo in the major arcana your star sign is represented by the hermit and in chakras your chakra is the throat chakra which to me makes a lot of sense because we're ruled by Mercury and um, obviously Mercury is the god of communication and quite swift communication at that actually. So that makes an awful lot of sense to me. So without further ado, for Virgo, what would spirit like to draw your attention to? <clears throat> and we have drawn a third eye chakra, trust. Trust your intuition. It is in contact with a higher source of knowledge. So that's lovely. Third eye chakra. And the crystal that is associated with that, I don't know if you can see it there, is tourmaline. I think I've said that correctly, tourmaline, which looks a beautiful crystal. So third eye chakra and trust, trust of your intuition. And with the chakra oracle cards for a bit more bigger picture energy here just to help to guide the direction of this reading. I'm just trying to think actually what Virgo, what we got for the September readings actually. And I think yeah you drew you drew the Soul's Journey card imagination. And um, your reading had the sun everywhere over it. Um, it was beautiful. I remember as I was sitting doing the reading, the sun was coming in through the window and I was just gradually getting covered in it. So I think, I think that there was a lot of positivity. There was a lot of positive energy within that reading to encourage us Virgos, I think. So, <clears throat> for Virgo, for October, what would spirit, what would the universe like to draw your attention to? And we have 
the card communication, which is our card, isn't it? That's a throat chakra card. That's of self-expression, exchange, sharing and connection. That's a lovely card for us Virgos, isn't it? To start off our chakra reading. So we have a card of third eye energy and a card of throat chakra energy here, which actually makes a lot of sense to me. So these tarot cards I'm going to use are a deck called the Psychic Tarot. They're a brand new tarot deck to me. I've not used before. The symbology and the images on them are based quite heavily on the Rider Waite deck, but they are also very different as well. There's no number 10s in this deck, in the Minor Arcana. And there are no court cards, so there's no people no extra people in these cards and what there is instead is there's some chakra cards to draw our attention a little bit more closely to a particular chakra so if one of those cards comes up I shall clarify that again with another deck of tarot so for Virgo or October, what would spirit, what would the universe like you to know? And your first card here is your base chakra. This is your root chakra. And we have drawn the seven of cups. So your root chakra is red and it is associated with the foundations of your life, with your body, with your physical health, with your material wealth, with your job, with your home, with you having what you need, essentially. And we've drawn the Seven of Cups, which is a card here of deceptions and envy. So not really seeing things quite as they are, I would say here. Just, sorry, I think I've got that wrong. This deck is new to me. I think the blue cards are swords, actually, aren't they? Yeah. So this is the seven of swords. I've just realised that. I'm sorry. You're one of the first readings that I've done with this deck, Virgo, so I do apologise. This is the Seven of Swords. That makes a lot more sense. I was just suddenly thinking the Seven of Cups, Deception and Envy. No. So, yes, this is the Seven of Swords, and that makes a lot more sense. This is definitely not seeing things quite as they are, that the reality of the situation is somewhat distorted. So for your second chakra card, for your sacral chakra, and your sacral chakra is orange and it represents things such as your sexuality, your life force and your creative potential. And we've just drawn the crown chakra here. So I will draw another tarot card and I will clarify that. So I won't say anything about that until I've, I've clarified that. So card number three is your solar plexus chakra. And your solar plexus chakra is yellow. And it's associated with your gut, with your needs, with your knowing, with your willpower, your instincts and your drives. And here we have drawn... The Nine of Wands, which is a card here of spiritual strength. The Nine of Wands. I think in the traditional tarot, this is the chap with um, looking kind of battered and beaten up, isn't it? Who's been trying to straighten all his wands and get them to all stand up. So this is actually 
quite a similar theme here, isn't it? This is about enduring, I guess. Strength and endurance. So that's card number three, your solar plexus chakra. Card number four is your heart chakra. And your heart chakra is green and is associated with love and harmony and compassion and love of all kinds, self-love particularly. And we've drawn here the Three of Swords, which says heartache and loss. It's a very... Um, it's a very different card to the Ride Awake card, this card, and in its imagery, but you can see the intense focus inwards on the pain that this person is feeling here. It's like the heart has been broken completely down the middle. It's like she's in a a dark place there with her thoughts and that is your heart chakra Virgo I am sorry about that your throat chakra and your throat chakra is blue and it re represents communication of all kinds um, freedom of expression, being articulate, being able to listen and comprehend and understand as well as to talk and express. And here we have the Six of Swords here. And this is moving on. That's always a nice card in the Swords, I think, the Six of Swords. So card number seven is your third eye chakra. Card number six is your third eye chakra and this is indigo. And your third eye is concerned with such things as awareness, visualization, your imagination, the psychic realm, your third eye, um, instinct, insight, intuition, different kinds of knowing and here we have drawn the nine of swords which is suffering in silence hmm. and card number seven which is your crown chakra which is on the top of your head which is, re which is represented by violet, um, by your connection to spirit, by your divinity. It's um, to do with living a conscious life, a meaningful life, with having meaning in your life, with feeling connected, feeling um, a sense of belonging to something, a kind of wisdom. A self actualization, if you like, a, ma a maturation, if you like. And here we have drawn the Ace of Swords, which is triumphant success. So, look, and at the bottom of the deck, actually, we've got light, which is the sun in this deck of cards. I'm so pleased to see that, actually. So the sun has put in an appearance here. I think us Virgos need the sun. I think the sun is a, is a good energy for Virgos. So let's have a look at these. We also need to clarify, don't we, your sacral chakra because we drew the crown chakra card for that. So I will just draw another tarot card for that and see what we get. So what do we need to know about the sacral chakra here? What does Virgo need to know? And we have drawn 
the Eight of Swords. So we've got the Six, Seven, Eight and Nine of Swords here, actually, Virgo. That's quite a lot of heavy um, sword energy, isn't it? I've just drawn another eight on the bottom of these cards here as well. Hmm. So, for your root chakra, for your base chakra, which, as I said, is concerned with your physical, with your material, with material aspects of your life, the physical aspects of your life. So if you like, like pentacles in tarot, and we've drawn a seven. Which is deception and envy. So to me, this is saying in some ways that perhaps you're not quite seeing things clearly that your perception might be slightly skewed that you might be feeling that you're not seeing the truth of something or that something is hidden from you there's kind of an air of um yeah, you can see in this man's face here, like the, the look is sort of like, he's not happy, is he? So all is not well in the foundations of your life here, Virgo, in some way. Yeah. We'll carry on. Your sacral chakra, we drew the crown chakra for that. And as I said, your sacral chakra is to do with your sexuality and your life force and your creative potential. And we, we drew the crown chakra. So it, it feels very much here like your ability to um, connect with your creative potential or to feel good about yourself or to feel pleasure in life is some is in some way wrapped up in crown chakra energies and as i said crown chakra energies are to do with awareness and gratitude and um, insight spiritual connections having meaning direction curiosity in life We also drew the Eight of Swords, which is about mastery and action and accomplishment and another distorted perception of things. To me, there's a very strong feeling here already, Virgo, that you're struggling, um, that where you, where you feel that you are practically and materially in life is, is possibly not quite as bad as you think that it might be. And I think... What I'm feeling here is that you're feeling trapped in some ways, but almost as if you're trapped by your own by your own thinking processes that you're it's like your self sabotaging behaviors if you like are getting in the way of you being able to enjoy what you actually do have, enjoy who you are. Um, already so far there's a poverty here of pleasure 
which is a shame, isn't it? Because when I looked at your September reading, it felt like there was a lot of positivity in that reading. It feels like there has been a change here for you. It's like you're doubting yourself, like you're doubting your like you're doubting your position in life. You're not feeling secure. Maybe even feeling a little bit picked upon or as if something is going on behind your back that people might be talking about you. Yeah. Card number three is your solar plexus chakra. And um, as I said, this is yellow. This is concerned with your needs and your gut and your intuition, your instincts and your drives. And we've drawn the nine of wands here spiritual strength which I think carries on really from what I've just been saying is that I think that you're feeling you're feeling somewhat under strain um, feeling like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders that you're Yeah, that you're doubting yourself, Virgo, that you're not really, you're not really seeing the reality of, of your life and who you are and what you're capable of. I think these cards are very much urging you to, to have courage here, to trust to trust your instincts, to trust your inner knowing. And whatever it is that's going on that's making you feel kind of trapped and kind of insecure at the moment is to... is to trust in... trust in your journey, I guess. Trust in your... in your own ability to know what is the right thing to do. And I think I think some of this is stemming from this card here, isn't it? This is your heart chakra card. And as I said, this is the card of heartache and loss. There's a, almost an exquisite sense of focus of pain and sadness here. Everything about this person is drawn inwards and downwards. It's like your heart is heavy. I don't know whether this is an actual um, recent breakup, whether this is indeed a breakup of a relationship of any kind. Because heartache and loss can come from many things. It doesn't have to just be the breakdown of a relationship. All kinds of things can happen in life to hurt us and to make us go inwards and to make us feel sad. You know, bereavement and loss of all kinds or another can... And cause us to feel this kind of energy. And so I do feel that perhaps it's no wonder really that your, your thought processes and your emotions are so wobbly at the moment and so confused. I think you are needing to call on every little bit of strength and stamina that you have at the moment, Virgo, to get you through this difficult time. Card number five is your throat chakra. And here we have the card moving on. And um, this is a nice card. This is a positive card. As we can see here, this man 
is moving out of the shadows, out of the darkness and into the light. In the Rider Waite cards, this is the woman and the child in the boat being sailed away into calmer waters. And I think given that this is a swords card, so this is a card of intellect and thought, so it is a throat chakra card in many ways. And we've also had communication here, haven't we? I think that that's perhaps what's key here in your your recovery from this this situation that has that has gotten you down that has made you feel sad and alone i think that your your ability to communicate and express yourself is a strength that you have Virgo and I think that you need to I think this is calling you to look to others that you need to talk to others you need to listen to others you need to share and express with others how you're feeling to look to the light to look for companionship to to look to friends, to look to avenues of support for yourself at this time. Card number six is your third eye chakra. And as I said, that's concerned with such things as sort of trust and inner knowing, a wisdom, your psychic abilities, your connection to your imagination to the psychic realm and we have card number nine here which is the nine of swords and again this is a card of isolation suffering in silence feeling cut off alone Just completely lost really here. You know, this woman has climbed to the top of this rock here and there's really nowhere to go, is there? There's nowhere to go. Hmm. Okay. And your crown chakra which, as I said, is about your connection to spirit and your divinity, um, your sense of belonging. We've got here the Ace of Swords, triumphant success, which is a victory of some kind, isn't it? A realisation of some, some kind, some clarity. Mm. See, an out of balance crown chakra can really have a lot to do with mental health problems, with depression and anxiety, um, feeling unsatisfied, confused, directionless, nervous, um, limited, feeling lost. It can be a card of being fearful of the past, fearful of the future feeling stuck that would be a crown chakra that was out of balance here and, that, and I'm seeing a lot of that here in your cards actually Virgo there's a lot of that kind of um, confused and unsatisfied and anxious kind of energy here Yeah, a lot. So I think what I'm going to have to say here is that really 
your two oracle cards here are they're calling you to trust on your intuition to try to trust in yourself to trust that your intuition is guiding you in the right direction even though it may not feel that way at the moment because i can see here that, that whatever is going on virgo it feels like like it's almost totally preoccupying for you that it's taking up every little bit of your of your energy and i think that you feel very very alone with that i think the key here is is to use the strength that you have in your throat chakra for communication is don't suffer in silence you need to share and connect and whether that be with that with other people or just with yourself connecting with yourself with your third eye with your intuition by meditating I think that that's what you're being called on to do at the moment is to not kind of not give in to some of these limiting thoughts that you're having here I know it may feel that you're alone and that you're suffering whatever this is alone but I think you might be surprised if you reach out I think you might be surprised what you find within if you allow yourself to look at yourself kindly So I'm going to take your throat chakra as being the chakra to focus on here for you, actually, Virgo. And let's have a little look if I've got some throat chakra affirmations for you. I find affirmations to be very helpful, particularly if you can kind of link them to a sensation in your body at the same time. So... As this is your throat chakra, if you are going to say these affirmations out loud, perhaps the thing to do would be to put your hand on your throat and to really try and breathe energy into that chakra, to really try and visualise that chakra at the same time. And some of the affirmations I've got down here are, I speak my truth, I deserve to be heard, and I am worthy of being heard. So I speak my truth. I deserve to be heard. And I am worthy of being heard. I think that they are very important messages, very important um, affirmations for you to think about at this time, Virgo. I think that some quiet inner reflection would be really helpful for you. If you are able to meditate, I think that that would be very good for you. But I think that you also need to get out and talk to people and connect with people in whatever way that you can. Um, I've got a list of chakra balancing exercises here or chakra balancing activities, things that that are generally good for people across the board, really, um, are balancing our chakras. And there's lots of books and YouTube videos out there if any of this um, resonates for you. So there's the use of colours, um, colours in your room colours in your decoration, your clothes, your lights, um, to look at people's auras if you're able to see energy or auras around people. Things such as yoga, qigong, EFT, which is emotional freedom technique, and that's tapping. Things such as breath work, 
visualizations, guided meditations, crystals and stones, oils, herbs, acupuncture, acupressure, grounding techniques such as walking barefoot in nature, music, and these are very good for your throat chakras, music, chanting, mantras and affirmations, creativity of any kind really, massage, exercise, walking, dancing, prayer, rest and relaxation, and obviously addressing your diet, Virgo, because I think, well, I know in myself actually that if I neglect my diet, my mental health can suffer for that. So it's about avoiding bland beige foods, processed foods and trying to eat more organic food, more colourful food. So, yeah. I hope that that was helpful for you in some way. And as I said, the affirmations, which if you're able to hold your throat area and breathe deeply and breathe your energy through your throat chakra is I speak my truth. I deserve to be heard and I am worthy of being heard. It does feel very much here that you're your life on all levels <clears throat> actually at the moment is being affected by affected by your mental health I think I have to say here Virgo there's a lot of very limited And kind of self-sabotaging thought processes here. And I'm not for any, I'm not for one moment trying to say that your life isn't tricky or isn't hard. Or that people may not have done things that have upset you. Or that you might not have let your own self down in some way. I'm not trying to take anything away from your pain and from the distress that you feel. Um, I'm just trying to look here at ways that you might be able to make that feel a little bit better for yourself and to feel a little bit more in balance within yourself. So, yeah, I'm sorry that, <coughs> excuse me, my voice, we've been doing all this talking about throat chakra, haven't we? And I'm now starting to um, get a croaky voice. So perhaps I'm feeling what the Virgo collective is feeling at the moment is that there's some kind of blockage going on there throat chakra wise. There's a difficulty in, in expressing or feeling heard. Yeah. So I'm sorry that this is not as positive a reading for you as... Um, the September reading was. At the bottom of the deck, as I said, we did have the card light. And the bottom of the deck is often what's hidden. So I would take some, some reassurance and some solace from that actually, is that the sun is still there. The sun is still shining. The energy, the heat from the sun is still there and you can create that energy within yourself Virgo just like this lady is doing here she's creating that light she's creating that with her own energy and that is something that you can do don't suffer in silence Virgo I really wish you well with that. I hope that that goes well for you. And I will see you again in the middle of October for our mid-monthly energy check-in. Um, 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do for November as yet, um, but I will see you the middle of October for your mid-monthly check-in. So good luck with that, Virgo. I really hope that things feel better for you. And as I said, thank you so much for my likes, shares and subscribes. Thank you for being here with me.